Welcome to the Global Stampin' Video Hop, where a group of Stampin' Up! demonstrators from around the world come together and do some videos where you can hop along and see what each person have done, has done for the challenge. This month's theme is Masculine Makes. Enjoy! So, using the Painted Poppies stamp set, I wanted to combine it with a Good Man stamp set. I've used the stitched rectangle framelit dies and this one is three and three eighths by four and three quarters. And this is the retired punch, the one and a half inch punch and cut out a post-it note with it. If you don't have the punch, you can draw around something or um, die cut out a circle. Coming in with my blending brushes and using some Mango Melody. Laying down some initial colour because I didn't want that stark white contrast after I take the mask off. So once I laid down the colour, I've put my post-it note on top and this is going to act as the sun. Using black memento ink, I'm stamping this image with the child sitting on the, well, I'm guessing it's a father, on <laughs> the father's shoulders. Then I'm inking up the group of poppies and I'm having them walking through the poppies. So stamping the poppies so that you can just see the top of their legs and then stamping each side to complete the picture. So starting off with garden green and just laying down some colour into the field with my blending brush. And I've gone ahead and cut out the man so I've got him masked off already. So just laying down that post-it note on that image to avoid colouring him in green. So just swiping across with the brush and going in circular motions, trying to avoid the poppies, but also laying down the colour so that it blends into the picture. I'm adding along the bottom shaded spruce this is because I'm going to use the blend later, so I wanted the colour to blend better with the colour in the picture. Then bringing back the Mango Melody, and it's gone on quite strong actually, stronger than I was um, hoping it was going to, but that's fine, we can work with that. So laying down Mango Melody at the top and then coming in with Bumblebee to create a nice sun sunset uh, <laughs> look to the picture and then the great foot reveal where we peel and you probably can't see it on the video but um, it's still quite stark and although we lay down some color initially I'm just brushing over it to give it a nice hazy look to make it look more realistic so We've lifted off the mask and I'm now going to go in and colour in the poppies using the Stampin' Blends. Going in with the darker colour first and then coming back with the lighter to fill in those poppies. It doesn't take long to colour the individual flowers in. And then just to make those stems stand out and coming in with my shaded spruce uh, dark stamping blend and I'm just highlighting where the stems are. I decided to help make the poppies look a bit more bushy and have more poppies in the field. I'll come back in with some more poppies by stamping off first and then coming in with the ink. So you've got this lovely shadowing effect behind the main poppies. So coming in now with some grey Stampin' Blends and using the different shades to shade in the, the masculine image. Using darker for the trousers and then colouring it in with the lighter. I had this idea of just having the figure in grey, almost like a memory or an imagination. I just quite like the contrast of the a black and white image against the very bright colours of the rest of the card. So using 
the colours to just follow the lines that are on the stamp already. Now, technically, <laughs> if the sun was on the right side of them, they probably wouldn't have been dark on that side. But I'm just I'm just going in with what I'm I'm used to and just colouring in the darker side on the right and like I said, following the image that's already on there. So just blending those colours in and even using the grey for their skin tone as well. Like I said, I wanted the whole image to be a black and white look rather than having skin tones. Then I'm coming in with my colour lifter and I'm just trying to create some highlights on that right side where the sun might hit and just moving that colour of the blend. I decided to come in with the In Good Taste Designer Series paper and I'm just going to add a bit of um, Stampin' Sil Plus to add some of this Grey Baker's Twine from the Well Suited Suite. <laughs> so just putting the string across the front and then adding an extra inch or two so that I've got enough to tie a bow. Snip that off and then go ahead and tie a bow. So the paper is like this lovely hessian look and it just created a nice neutral background for my picture to go on. Sticking on the image with my multi-purpose liquid glue to complete the card. And there you have it, my masculine make for this month. I hope you enjoyed the video today and it's inspired you to mix and match your cards. Not your cards, your stamps. <laughs> Mix and match your stamps. Oh, I've also gone ahead and um, stamped on there. Thanks to you, I grew up loved. Um, I missed that out on the video. So thank you so much for watching. Please do go ahead and catch all the other makes in the hop and hop along to see what people have made this month. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribing. And thumbs up is always appreciated with a comment below. Have a good day.